Okay, I'm going to tell you a little story. This story is how it gets better. It's my story. So, here it goes. I am still in high school. I am in 11th grade. And when I was in 9th grade, people made my life a living hell. It was horrible. People bullied me, people hit me, people shoved me in lockers, people spread rumors about me, and it was just awful, and I hated it. That continued until I became a sophomore, and in the middle of my sophomore year, I said, you know what, I had enough, and I ran from my problem, which is never, never something that I would condone. For anybody who wants to get rid of them, but I'm not going to say that you should stay where the problem is. So, to the point where you don't feel safe or anything in that environment and you feel completely and utterly sad and terrified and confused or like you want to hurt yourself. That, that's not what I'm telling you. But I'm saying, I ran from my problems, and I kind of regretted it. I switched out of public school and went to cyber school. It was horrible. It, and what I realized is, if you have problems, you have to face it head on. You can't let the people who are bullying you show you that a uh, show... You can't let... The bullies know that it bothers you because if it does, if you do, it just keeps on going and going and going. And trust me, I was told that many times for many years by my father, by my mom, and by my brother. And it took me until I was in tenth grade to realize that don't let don't show that it bothers you. Um, so that's like the moral. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that that's going to be the moral of the story. I'm pretty sure that's what I intended. Not go sure if it's going to change or not. So, I'm going to tell you the reasoning why I switched schools. To cyber school. So, when I was in ninth grade, eighth period, end of the day at school, I would always hate going there because these kids would bully me. There was one in particular. His name was Tony. He told me numerous times how he doesn't like me and um how it would be better if I was just gone and he told me many times many many times that it'd be better if I just shot myself or it'd be better if I just committed suicide and that hurt like I contemplated it many times but I didn't do it because I'm stronger than that Horrible. He told me that if I shot myself in the head, he would com he would he would give me the gun and give me the burial space for my body because no one would miss me, no one would care, no one would show up to the funeral. He's a great A ass, and he got to me, got to me. I don't know how many times I came home and isolated myself from my family or my friends because I didn't want them to know what was going on. I followed it up and it ate away at me. It was horrible. And I don't want you guys to get through it. I know I'm not I don't know all you guys personally but that's not something that I would ever want anybody to go through because I know how it feels. I know what it feels like not to be wanted around anybody, how it feels to be told to go kill yourself because no one would like you, no one likes you, no one would care, stuff like that, and I know how it feels, it hurts, it, for the longest time I believed him, for about half of the school year I believed him, and just, it's not right for people to say things like that, and that's because they didn't even know that I was part of the LGBT community. 
and if they knew, if they knew that I was part of the LGBT community, it'd be so much worse, and so much hatred towards people. It's awful. It's horrible. It's, I don't even know why people would do that. I'm a good person. I don't do anything towards people to piss them off or to irritate them. I'm just saying, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted. Um, just, it's not right for people to say these things to people. It's not right at all. Um, I'm sorry. It's not a very long video like last week's. Um, I completely forgot that I had to upload, so I'm recording it tonight. So I can upload tomorrow morning. Today is the 23rd. We all survived the end of the world, so... Yay! Um... Yeah. I'm not feeling well, so it's not going to be really long anyway, so, yeah. The moral of the story is, don't be afraid, don't run from anybody, just stand up for yourself. Don't, like, start fights with whoever's causing you this pain or anything. It's just stupid to do these things. It's horrible. So, on that note, I'm going to go. I was going to say something, but I forgot. So on that note, I'm going to go. Comment below. Tell me your story if you feel like you're up to it. Comment telling me how it got better for you. Message us. Inbox us how it got better for you. Or leave a video response. And just don't be afraid of people. It's not worth it. It's not worth the stress. It's not worth the hassle. Not worth you switching schools over, and for what? It, yeah, it may be four years of your life, or it may be something like that. Just it's not worth feeling terrified at school over. Don't feel that it bothers you. If if it's to the extent where they're like threatening to kill you and they like come to your house and harass you and stuff, then yeah, I would say switch out of school. I would say go to cyber school and not yeah yeah sorry peace out